Hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is so good to us. He gave us a chance to see another morning. Listen, in Luke chapter 15 and verse 19, uh, the prodigal boy said, I will arise and go to my father. Uh, listen, what is your child's concept of home? Did you ever ask yourself, what was the prodigal's boy concept of home? Listen, his concept of his father and his, com uh, his concept of how comfortable he would be when he go back home and that his father most likely will accept him caused him to make the decision to go back home. Listen, we run homes, we have children. I would like us to understand that as these children are younger and growing up, we must do things in a proactive way to cause our children to always want to come back home. Don't be cruel to them. Don't be mean to them. That doesn't mean that you wouldn't scold them. But you must be able in a loving way to do all of that. Let me switch this conversation to somebody who has walked away from the goodness of God. Please understand that our God is represented in the story of the prodigal. And even though this boy had walked away from the loving home of his father because he knew that his father would re-accept him, uh, listen, he was willing to go back. Similarly, if you have walked away from God, you're doing all types of things that are against the will of God. You must remember uh, to sit quietly and know that we serve a forgiving God. He just wants to welcome you back home. Uh, the prodigal's decision to arrive, arise and go back to his father was really saying that, listen, God, I have done wrong. I have sinned. I want to come back. When you say that, God is willing and merciful and long-suffering and wants to welcome you back home. Do not wait until it's too late to return home, whoever you are. God and Father, today somebody in their sinful ways messed up. They are wondering if you will re-accept them. Father, I'm saying to that person, please allow your Holy Spirit to work with that individual and to guide them safely back home. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you.